So for actually making the slants, what we have here is actually a tray that's designed for that. This is designed so that you can tip it uh, for a relatively low angle slant. In this case, for the algae maintenance, we're going to be doing it at a very high angle. And even though it's that far, it'll just run out of the bottom slightly um, and give us maybe about a half the depth of the tube. That's our, our goal here. Uh, what we're doing here is just, uh, these are, uh, well, not pre-sterilized, um, or it's a mix of those that have been washed and so forth. And so just simply going ahead, getting these tops made, pull it to the point where it's just catching about half a thread, put it on top, and then put it on top. And then what that does is that gives us it will, otherwise it'll collapse in the autoclave. Um, just enough to hang it on there. And that'll give us enough to, to run it in the autoclave. We're going to go ahead and do the rest of these and then we'll autoclave these for about 30 minutes on dry, uh, uh, with no dry time under the uh, gravity cycle. I tend to like to actually avoid autoclaving in uh, the plastic racks because they tend to deteriorate pretty quickly. And uh, so I'm just going to play a little bit of a trick here for autoclaving these in a metal so that we can uh, minimize the destruction of the actual container itself. So these uh, will be autoclaved for basically 30 minutes on the uh, gravity cycle. So these are our brand new autoclaves. They're pretty straightforward for using. I'm going to do these on gravity cycle for uh, 30 minutes. And so if you take a look at what we have up here, uh, once that you say select cycle, you can see the generator and both the jacket are actually on. Uh, gravity cycle here. 30 minutes is fine, I really don't need a dry time, so I'm going to go ahead and hit that, put in zero. So we have 30 minutes dry time, hit select, and then you go ahead, hit yes, and it'll actually engage the gasket here in a second, and that'll start the actual auto pipe. I have a tendency to try to keep some of the things I'm working with in the media prep area here a little separate from the rest, uh, cleaning them up really good and then not throwing them back necessarily into general circulation uh, if they aren't really, really needed. So I plan to leave this slant, uh, slant tray uh, here. I'm going to spray it down good with alcohol. Okay, so the, uh, the bath here uh, is in the process of being calibrated, but roughly 55 degrees is a good temperature. Um, what we're going to do here a couple of neat, nifty little tricks for, for working with different volumes. If you put a something like that in there, you can actually then uh, place a small volume that you're working with. And certainly these uh, larger um, donuts uh, weights will give you the ability, if you have one, it'll go over that. Most of those aren't really designed for this. Uh, I'm going to pull these a little cl close. So if it, we, they do, we don't want obviously water to get in there because the water is not sterile. Um, let's see here. Put some others. It's uh, plenty warm. And one on top there. Put this one here. So these will be good. Well, um, that way, they're, as they're cooling down, they won't get too cool because we want them to be about the right temperature uh, for the actual uh, pouring. After uh, working with the pouring of this a little bit, I'm sort of, you know, getting a little more systematic to it, and uh, found how to. I, I'm real. Uh, what I really like. Uh, it turns out four mils seems to be a pretty good volume. Uh, key to this is making sure you don't get any foam in there. 
going to preheat this and by not having it down in there I'm not going to create any bubbles uh, bring that up as you can see there's some material there that it's solidified inside um, and so take that with the markings down that is the, uh, the numbers I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add 4 mils slowly then take that and I will then tip it until it comes we're going to use surface tension there. Just a little bit of coercion. I'm going to try to get it to come up to almost 10 mils. And then at that point, I'm going to put it in the rack. And that gives it plenty of pitch on it. the next one. By going in on the bottom, that's where it's going to be tipping anyway. So. Again, take it. Uh, tip it on out. Get out to about 10 miles. And it's sort of wedged out there, so it'll have a tendency to run back out there again when I, when I lay it down. And I have. I'm doing this leaving these open because that seems to be working out very well in terms of the uh, um, getting rid of the condensate because you really don't want to have condensate inside these as they uh, when you get a pool of water down in the bottom of the slant and if you take a look then at uh, a uh, here's one that's solidified you can see we have quite a bit of distance there to work with in terms of the slant and uh, no condensate causing us any, any problems. And so that one's good to go. And cap it up. Another aspect of working with slants is that you realize that the pipettes that you have is going to have auger inside. That makes it uh, problematic uh, to, and so what I'm going to end up doing is just putting them into a tray and then adding some water to that so that they'll be submerged. And uh, this will be run through a real quick um, autoclave cycle. In fact, it doesn't have to be so much for sterilization. You can, in fact, do that on gravity. It'll boil a bit, but that's not a problem.